I'm Sue Mock, and I'm a proprietor and repository manager at the Colorado Northwestern Field Museum. It is housed at the Colorado Northwestern Community College in the Craig campus. One of my jobs that I do here is I am a preparator, which means I actually take sand and rock and stones off of dinosaur bones that have been fossilized and get them ready to put into our collections. And then I take and I record them into the um, books and actually make the collection, keep track of the collections. So the Colorado Northwestern Field Museum started in 2015 after Walter the dog found a dinosaur bone. And so we decided to call Walter the hadrosaur, Walter, and we have been excavating him since 2015, um, which is not very long ago. 2015 BLM actually allowed us to become a curatorial fossil repository, and so we can house bones for the federal government. So bones found in Northwest Colorado can stay in Northwest Colorado and not have to go over to Denver. What makes Walter significant is in this formation that Walter is found in, in the Mesa Verde formation, 74 million years old, either the bones are perfect, pristine, or they are horrible in terms of their preservation. Walter is on the really good side. Most of his bones are intact. Most of the bones are in fantastic quality. And we have the preservation of tendons, which hadrosaurs have abundance of, ossified tendons. But Walter also had the preservation of what appears to be skin. All of those things combined, being in such exquisite quality of a dinosaur that isn't necessarily going to be found often in this area, gives us the opportunity to really see what the range of these dinosaurs were, how, what the age was like of these dinosaurs, because Walter is very big, bigger than most of the dinosaurs that are found in this area. And figure out preservation. How can skin and soft tissues preserve when they're not supposed to? Skin should be gone, well gone, before anything fossilizes. It should be degraded, you know, predators should be ripping that skin off. But it's here. Ironically, in 2014, when Walter the dog was finding the bone that uh, became Walter our hadrosaur, I was in Michigan fighting cancer. When you are battling cancer, you have different uh, thoughts and things go through your mind. Uh, one of the things I decided was I was going to go back to Colorado. I had been out here from a military school and just absolutely fell in love with the mountains. So I came back here, um, picked a map, a point on the map, um, and it happened to be Craig, Colorado. I got on the train and rode that to the bus station in La Junta, and then I came up here on the bus from La Junta to Craig. Okay, so when I came into um, Craig, Colorado, and actually came down to the repository, the paleontologist let me touch the skin, and when I went like this, I said, how do I get here? And as soon as I petted Walter's skin, that's it. Um, I, they can't get rid of me, I'm here, and I just, I love what I do. I've never been happier than what I am now.